Hello guys, it's your girl Diva. Listen, someone that you know has connected with a group of people and this would be considered like a tribe. They consider themselves as a tribe or something like that. Some type of group that they are involved in now in order to bring people together, but it's not for a good reason. Okay, so th this person that connected to this is going to come to you trying to get you to join this group. They're wanting you to be in this group with them. They want you to do whatever they're doing and it's very malicious so don't fall for this shit i'm telling y'all y'all got this person in this group of people who's seeing a lot of potential in you when it comes to your calling your gifts your business your flu influence they're wanting to include you in what they're doing so you're gonna have to be careful with this because spirit is saying that you need to co-create your own co-create your own you need to do something on your own. Co-create your own group. Don't connect with this group because you are meant. Let's just say, for instance, there was a group of people who started a business and it was connected with certain things of selling, you know, certain stuff. But this group of people who have this business is doing some things that are illegal. They're doing things that's going to get them a lot of karma sent their way. And that's what Spirit is saying. Like, you don't need to connect with these people. Everything is going to look so good. It's going to put, it's going to look well put together. Like, you got the president, the person on top. You got the person, people that's running the company or whatever this is. And it doesn't have to be a com company. This could be a religious group. This could be an occult. This could be anything. But Spirit is saying, you, he, what he wants you to do is to co-create your own tribe. Create your own tribe. You are the tribe. You are the creator of your own. You are to be the creator of your own tribe because it's going to be right. Whoever these people is, they're not, they not doing it right. They're about to get caught up. People in that group are not being treated equally. They're not being treated fairly um, because they're, they don't really know what's going on behind the scenes. They just decided to join this group. There's things going on behind the scenes that they don't know. So the person is going to connect to you to try to get you to join this group, don't even know what the hell they done got into. But they trying to get you to join. This is not what you're supposed to be doing. You are meant to create for yourself. So things can be fair. It says to be fair. You got the to be fair card. You're the one who's going to make things right. See, the individuals that we're speaking of, they don't know how to create things on their own. So they simply connect with other people. And it's nothing wrong with that as long as the group or the, the the situation is right and they're doing things right. But this is not right. Whatever's going on here is not right at all. So be aware. We're going to do the song and then we're going to dive a little deeper, okay? <laughs> I am the diva you heard about me. About to give you a reading. Come listen to me. I'm a diva. I'm a, I'm a diva. That's my intro. If you like it, please be sure to hit the like button. All right, let's dive deep. Okay, so I don't know what's really going on with this group that this person is connected to, but I know for a fact that they're not teaching people what they're doing. Everything that they're doing is behind the scenes. The whole group is not informed of what to do. And that was the main reason for this group being formed, for people to be free, to be set free, to be saved, to be helped, to be freed from any type of spells and curses and breaking chains, people freeing other people, like people freeing people being freed y'all know what i'm trying to say but listen this is like i said this other person who's trying to get you to come into this group or they may want you to join something they want you to be a part of it because they know that you're going to be a great help because you are a leader like that but see the most high is saying that you are already the leader you're, you're a leader for yourself you're a leader of your own so you need to get to creating whatever group this patreon whatever memberships Whatever people, people are going to flock to you because they know that you have something that's going to help them. And you're actually involved in people's lives. You interact with people. You actually allow them to know and help them through whatever situations they're going through. Because many people are being faced with freezer spells, candles, candle magic, you know, people being wishing bad on them, evil eye curses, 
you know, even the generational curses, these things are real. You know, certain people, some people in some groups and religions don't believe that any of this exists. They say, if you don't think about it, if you don't believe it, it won't be so. But that's the, that's the lie from the straight pit of hell. That's from, y'all know, <laughs> that's a lie straight from the pits of hell. They lying to you. Don't let them lie to you like that, baby, because it's real. That shit is real. People know. And you got, you got to know that. Your gift, your anointing is real too. It's way more real. Once you start to work with it, work in it, and be tapped in to your Christ consciousness, okay? Because I really feel that just like the the reading we did yesterday talked about you being a high priest as you being divine. That is what it is. You're the high priest. You're the high priestess. You have divine capabilities of breaking people away from all of this stuff and freeing them. And that's what spirit is saying. You got it. You just have to know it. It's like if you don't know it within yourself, you're not going to utilize it. But you have it because your ancestors have it. Your ancestors had it. They still do. Your ancestors have the same gifts as you. They didn't tap in though. You're going to be one of the ones that actually taps in and utilize it and help other people. And not being stingy, and not being a gatekeeper. Because that's what you're going to do. And that's what spirit wants. And that's why this starting July is going to be it's hitting different. July is hitting different. You can feel it. That you're getting more tapped in. You're getting more conscious of who you are. That's why you ran across this video. I'm trying to tell y'all. Trying to tell you. So this group here has ran out of all the ideas that they had before. See, I told you, just like with Moses and with Pharaoh. They had their little magic going on and Moses was connected to the Most High. So he had the anointing flowing. See, it's the difference between magic going and anointing flowing. That's a big, big difference because it flows. It reaches to the highest mountain. Y'all know the song. It's a lot. It's a lot that can take place. And they know that you have ideas. They know that you have the elements that is needed to create there with them. But you're going to have your own tribe. You have your tribe. Spirit says you already got a tribe. You just need to pull them together. You need to get them all together and do your thing. So you can get everything flowing for people to understand that they're free. Or they're capable of being free. Let's see what else, honey. Let's see what else we got going on. And on and on. Ooh, okay. So, hold on. Ugh, there we go. Okay. So, you have perspective. Spirit says, see things from a different perspective. And truly believe that you have the gifts that nobody else around you has. It's nothing, you don't have to brag about it, but you got to know that the power that you possess that is within you is a part of the creator himself. There's something about you having this bird's eye view. <laughs> something about you having a bird's eye view. You can see clearly. You can see things clearer than you have before. July is different. I'm, talk, I'm telling y'all, even your visions and dreams are hitting different. It's hitting, right? It's doing its thing, busting, busting. <laughs> okay, it says, um, observe your reactions. Observe the reaction that you have when you find out certain stuff. Like when you, I was actually just listening to a, uh, a young lady and she said something about when the Most High gives you a dream and you, you know, he shows you that, okay, this person, <laughs> you know, you have a dream that somebody was talking about you behind your back. Or, you know, somebody was cheating on you. Because you know you're going to get them. If somebody messing over you, the most I going to show you. So, be careful not to go and tell that person that you saw them doing that. Because that's just your warning. You have, to be, you have to be able to observe how you react to these things. Because I'm pretty sure you've seen some things going on in these groups. You've seen some things going on with this person that's going to come to you. Change the way you react. Don't tell them nothing. Just... Be aware. Use that bird's eye view that you have and keep observing. And you you already know what else to do. Block them and bless them and keep it moving. You know what I'm saying? But just know they can't be trusted. <clears throat> Sunshine. Sunshine on me. 
I just want the sunshine on me. Sunshine on me. Okay, so <laughs> the sunshine, because you are the sun. Like you, you're part of the sun. You are the sun. You're the shining light, but you also are a part of the SON. You're part of the sun. Sun the sun is shining on you. You have a light. A passion. It's, it's like the light that you have on you brings passion to a lot of people. Even the people in this group that seeks to try and take your gifts. That seeks to try to use you for your anointing. The anointing ain't for sale. You might as well type that in the comments. The anointing ain't on sale. It ain't for sale. It ain't for sale. The anointing is not for sale. You got some type of... um. You give people motivation. You give them inspiration. There's something about you. Every time you show up, you show out. Whether you are coming in a room and holding your head down, you still motivating and inspiring people. You just don't know it because it's the anointing that is on you and in you. See, the difference between you and them is that you have the inner child. You have that inner child energy in you. And it's an, it's a, it's an energy of healing. It's the anointing of being able to heal. But not only that, you have the anointing to heal childhood wounds. Your own childhood wounds, but also the childhood wounds of other people. Especially those that are being sent to you. See, it's different when people are being sent to you by the, most cre the creator, the most high. It's the difference between... God doing that and between this person trying to get you to go where you don't even want to go trying to pull you where you don't need to be going because someone wants your harvest someone wants what you have they want the anointing they want the the healing that you have but they can't have it type in the comments they can't have it they can't have it I'm telling y'all your inner child the laughter the happiness People, this person, these people see how you move. And they know, like, I feel like also this group may have been against you before. But once they saw that whatever they were doing would not take the life out of you. It wouldn't take the childlike life out of you. You still have the joy and you still reflect on the things are, that are good. That you're able to pull away from the low vibrations and lift yourself up with the creator you know doing what you do meditating it's like now they're looking like wow it's something about that person they can see that you're gifted they can see that there's something about you that you are connected to the son that you are this light you are the light they can see that also there's a choice here okay so like i said you're gonna have a choice so whether to create for yourself a tribe of your own or to join this other group that has no power that has no influence that's hiding what they're doing from the people that are in that group like we don't need to have no gatekeepers in a group that we in especially if we paying for it like you going to because whatever this group is they you got to pay for it you you paying for whatever this is whether you paying for it with the soul or you paying for it with the real money okay but whatever this is it's not good. It looks good. I'm telling y'all, whatever this is, people would say, people of the world would say, oh my God, you're so lucky. Oh my God, they want you? They, Oh my goodness, they, girl, you better take that home, dude. You better take that job. You better take that position. You better join that group. They gonna help you. But I'm telling you, the help that they give you ain't got nothing on what God gonna do in your life. It ain't got nothing to do with what the creator is going to do in your life. He's already doing it. And so the choice is yours. But Spirit says you need to choose what is right. Choose what is you being the leader. It ain't like you, like I said, it ain't like you trying to just boast about what you're doing. But you are a leader. You have to see that in you. You give people direction. You have the Christ consciousness. And you know there's a consequence in not choosing to lead the people or lead. You're going to be right there. It's like crabs in a bucket. Following people that you ain't. The blind leading the blind. That's what, they, that's what the old folks say. The child, they just the blind leading the blind. <clears throat> that's what that is. 
It says moon. Honor the phases. Honor the phases of the moon. Okay? It's because a lot of these cycles are synced in with your with you. Okay? And I know like you saying like the anointing shouldn't be connected to the face. No, it should it shouldn't. Like you 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 know, common commonality thinking. But it's connected. It's connected. You read the word, they seem like stars. Like they they were, you know, things was happening in the stars. And it led them. Think about when Christ was born. They were being led. Use these phases to help you. Respect where you are going. Respect where you are. And use the self-care, the cycles of the moon to, to care for what you got. You know, care for what gifts you have. It's going to help you to increase. Because I'm telling you, these folks, they are manipulating things through the moon phases. This is what they usually do. They're using these spells and these, this magic to create things and pull from other people. That's the type of stuff they're doing. So you got a counter attack by using those moon phases as a time of fasting and praying, is moving, whatever you're doing, okay? While you're connected to the creator, whatever you're doing. You got to creep, you have to create throughout the moon phases. You have to respect the moon phases because that's what they tapped into. Okay? So that because when they send when they send this person, you may have the urgency. I'm telling you, those moon cycles, whatever they're doing, is gonna help people, it's gonna have people like your friends, your loved ones, like girl, you need to do this, homeboy, you need to do this, you need to, you know, it's just gonna be like it's gonna seem like it's synced in with the most high it's gonna seem like that but you already know the counterfeit always comes before what the most high is trying to do in your life so that's why you have to be on guard you have to use that to your ability to your advantage okay you also have confidence be confident in your creativity be confident in your anointing be confident in you being the high priestess you being the co-creator because of course god is the creator but you're a co-creator as well. Be, be, be confident. Take charge. Take charge of your life. Because you are worthy. You are worthy. Yes, you are. Don't play with me. You better know it. <laughs> yes, you got star. You're a star. Baby, you're a star. You're a star. You're divine. I told you it's something about you being divine. You're a star. Your inner divine, you have inner divine divinity in you, okay? You actually have guidance from your, your ancestors, your angels, your guardians, all of that. It, like they're helping you to create, to co-create. You have all the help that you need. So pull it together. And you're also protected. That star energy, you're protected. But you're also getting your wishes. It's like... Everything that you even just think that you want is going to happen. That is good. Everything that you think that you want that is good is going to happen for you. Your wishes are being fulfilled. That's what the star is. Wish upon a star. That's what you're going to You're going to be like that. That's, that's the type of energy that you have. That's the type of power that you have. And Spirit says, reclaim your space. Somebody tried to take your position. They tried to copy you and mimic you and do what you was doing, but you got to reclaim your space because you got this. This is who you are. Reclaim it. Reclaim your space and set boundaries. That's you calling upon your protection while you're going, like what, what, doing those moon phases, your protection, fasting and praying, moving, dodging these arrows of the enemy, of them trying to get you to come in with these groups, this group, dodging those arrows. Because I'm telling y'all, the arrows, what the arrows are, are going to be those coming to you, to you telling you you need to do it. It's an excellent benefit. You're going to have you're gonna have so many benefits that come with this. This is going to happen. If you join us, it's gonna, girl, you're going to be so, yes, and they're going to use people around you to do that. Those are the arrows that you need to set boundaries, okay? you These people don't need to, look, you don't need to tell me what I need to be doing. I know what I need to be doing. You know, you just, you can say it nicely or you can say it how I say it. I don't know. Be about your business though. Be about your business. <laughs> Setting energetic boundaries as well. You know, creating a divine white light. Asking, you know, seeing yourself in this, this light of a bubble. 
you know, and, and just imagining that as it is being created as you're doing it because you are a creator, you're a co-creator. You can do that. And it says surrender and flow. And that's all I got to say. You got to surrender to what is coming to you and what is coming for you. Surrender to what you have, your inner divinity. Surrender to the star that you are. And keep it moving and co-create and create your own freaking tribe. I'm trying to tell y'all. Don't let these fools get in your head. So, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. You better listen to you. Look, replay so you can know what to do. Okay, listen to this again. Share this video. And if you like to give, go ahead and give to the channel. Cash up, dollar sign, Diva TV. Or you can do so through Super Chat. Super thanks, which is the heart down below. Okay? I love you guys. Thanks for everybody's blessings. This, you know, your likes, your comments, your shares, and all of the giving. Blessings to you. Many blessings. I love you guys. Peace and blessings. Mwah.